creating your brand Twitter account. In this lesson you're going to learn how to set up your brand Twitter account as it will be a very important part of the launch process and also future promotions. Your brand Twitter account is going to be an important part of your launch strategy. It will also be invaluable for ongoing promotion too. And the great thing is it's very simple to create and use. So let's get right into it. So as I said, it's very, very simple. I've just come to twitter.com and I'm going to click on sign up. I've filled out the name and you notice I've used Charter Kitchen instead of actually my real name. And then the Charter Kitchen Gmail address and a password. I'm going to uncheck the box to tailor Twitter based on my recent website visits because I don't want it tracking that. But to be fair, I'm not going to be logged into it anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and click sign up. Now it is asking for my phone number, but I'm actually going to skip that step. And now it's asking me for a username. So I'm typing in Charter Kitchen and then I'm going to click next. Now apparently it's been taken, which is strange because it hadn't been taken on that other site. But I'm not too concerned. So I'm going to use this one, which is Charter underscore Kitchen. And then click on next. Okay, so it's a little bit of information, but I'm just going to click on let's go. And the water you're interested in is not particularly important, but you can add a couple. I'm going to add lifestyle and food and click continue. Now my email account has got no friends in it, so I'm going to click no thanks. And it's asking us to follow 21 people. And it's actually automatically picked 21 for us. I'm not too bothered about this, so I'm just going to click on follow 21 and continue. I'm not going to turn notifications on. And this is a tour. You can actually go through this, but I'm going to skip all. And then you'll notice here, it's asking you to confirm your email address. So I'm going to go to my Gmail account. You can see here, Twitter, confirm your Twitter account. So I'm going to click on that and then click confirm. And there you go, your account has been confirmed. Thanks, so I can close that. I can actually close these two tabs. And now the first thing we want to do is we want to edit our profile. To do that, I'm going to click on the add a profile photo here and then upload photo. And I'm going to use the same logo again, double click on it. Looks like it fits fine, so I'm going to click apply. And there you go, your profile photo was published successfully. Now the next step is to go to the profile and we can do that by clicking on our profile picture up here. And we're going to click on view profile. Now you can see it's all pretty bland. So I'm going to click on edit profile. Now we've already changed our profile picture. So now I'm going to add a header photo. I'm going to click on the plus button and use upload photo again. I'm just going to use the normal kitchen header I've been using before. There's our picture and you can reposition and scale it, but but it looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to click apply. And there you go, your header was successfully published. And now I just click on save changes. So we've edited our profile and we've now got a decent looking page. And that's all we're going to do for now. But you want to start adding content. It's really simple. It's almost exactly the same as Facebook. And I've just gone and found three sites with some recipes on it related to our kitchen. And if you don't see any Twitter icons on the page, just grab the URL. So I've copied that. Click on home typed in some really cool natural recipes, paste in the link, and then click tweet. And there you go. You won't get this every time. It's just because this is the first tweet this account's made, but we've made a tweet. And if we go back to our profile, you can see we've got this tweet. So I'll go and grab another one. And this one has got a Twitter icon. You can see it's got Facebook as well and Pinterest, and we'll get to that shortly. So I'm just going to click on the tweet and you can see it automatically populates the tweet for us and just click tweet and you might as well follow them too. So we're going to look at one more. You can see we've got another one here with an icon. I'm going to click on it. It's another one similar. I'm going to click on tweet and again, I'll follow them. So if we go back and reload our page, we now see that we've got three tweets of our own. Now what you can also do is you can search Twitter. This looks like a cool post. So what I'm actually going to do is retweet this one. And that basically means you're taking a tweet and putting it on your own profile. So if I scroll down, you can see underneath here, this is the button we're looking for, the retweet. You see it's like two arrows pointing back at each other. I'm just going to click on that. Typed in, looks delicious, and then we click tweet. And now if we go back to our profile, click on home, you can see our retweet is up. And that's all you need to do. The great thing about Twitter is because of the restriction on how many characters you can have, it's not like you can actually create a long post. So you want to continue adding tweets and also occasionally retweeting too. If you do two or three a day, that is plenty. And right now you just want to look for relevant content. So if you had a fitness brand, then go and look for fitness articles and so on. It's very straightforward. Right now, obviously we don't have our own products. So all we're interested in is just adding content to our Twitter account to make it look more realistic so that when we come to actually posting, our posts are probably going to get more attention. So what's next? Well, now you've learned how to create your brand Twitter account and also how to start adding content. In the next lesson, you will learn how to create your brand Pinterest account. Your action, create your brand Twitter account and start adding content. 
But that's it for this lesson. Take care.